Rugrats Twin Trouble by Luke David. Give me that rattle, Philip, yelled Lillian. She ground her teeth. No, Lillian, it's mine, yelled Philip. He closed his lip and snarled at his twin sister. It's not, Philip, said Lillian. The rattle is mine. Lil pulled with all her might. Phil pulled with all his might. The rattle went flying on the other side of the room. Wah! Wah! Lil. Wah! Wah! Phil. Holy smokes, said Betty, picking up her twins. I know my pups like bark, but... Lil reached across her mom to pinch Phil. Phil reached over to pinch Lil back. Wah! Both twins screeched at once. That's it, said Betty. She dragged Phil away from Lil and gave him to Dee Dee. They do seem awfully unhappy, said Dee Dee. I heard a Lipschitz audio sleep tape on twins all the night. He suggests treating twins as individuals for their greater well-being. For once, an old windbag might have a point, said Betty. We have been acting like the twins are attached to the hip. Maybe that's what's eating them. Come to think of it, Howard dressed Phil in Lil's clothes yesterday, and vice versa. He didn't even notice until bedtime. Oh dear, said Dee Dee. You know Lucy Carmichael dropped a box of hand-me-downs off the other day. Maybe you can find some outfits in there that encourage each twin's individuality. Betty changed the twin's clothes. Bingo, she said. Interesting choices, Betty said Dee Dee. You defy and gender stereotypes to encourage an imaginative play in Phil and professional aspirations in Lil. Yep, agreed Betty. These new togs are just the ticket. And no more two for one toy sales for us, said Betty. She handed Lil a dumb trunk and Phil a baby doll. It's different toys for you two from now on in. Oh brother, said Lil to Phil. And now, for the final stage of my game plan, separation, continued Betty. Deed, you take Phil upstairs, and Stu will take Lil down to the basement. Well, all right, Betty, answered Dee Dee, but I'm afraid the twins will miss each. Betty checked her watch. Gotta go. Time for my power swim around the lake. See ya. <coughs> cried Lil to Chucky. I miss Phil up. It's all right, Lil, said Chucky. Just return and fill. Okay, Chucky, said Lil. You can eat that water bug if you want. I don't mind. Lil, yuck, that's disgusting, said Chucky. Face it, Chucky, said Lil. You're not even a teeny bit like Phil. I miss my twin brother. Wah, cried Phil to Tommy. I miss Lillian. It's okay, Phil, said Tommy. Just return and Lil. What you say we eat those... Dust bunnies. Tommy popped a dust bunny into his mouth. Yeah, he spit it out. No, Tommy, said Phil. If you want to be like Lillian, you gotta swallow it. Phil popped the dust bunny into his mouth, chewed it, and gulped. Mmm. Wah, cried Phil to Tommy. I still miss Lillian. Don't worry, Phil, said Tommy. I have a plan. Tommy picked up his copper and string phone. Come in, Lil. Come in, Chucky. Over and out. This is Ground Control, Major Tommy, answered Chucky. We got to get these twins back together, said Tommy. Make a break for it and meet me in the kitchen in, oh, five jillion seconds. Coffee, answered Chucky. Over and out. These stairs are too steep and scary, said Chucky. I got to get back to Phil, said Lil. We got to figure out a way. Lil, Chucky, said Stu, do me a favor and make here while we run Dill's new and improved kangaroo up to the kitchen. Eureka, said Lil. Brat, my dad's new high security stair gate is up, said Tommy. But don't worry, Phil, I have a plan. Funny, this plastic seems heavier than usual, said Dee Dee as she lugged the laundry downstairs. All the babies met in the living room. Lillian, yelled Phil. Fill up, yelled Lil. Nothing seems any fun without you, said Phil. Being a twin is a pretty full thing, said Lil. 
We tried to keep them separated, exclaimed Dee Dee, but they do seem happier together. Well, you know what I always say, said Betty. When twins are happy, everyone is happy.